This review is a little bit long, so I do have the chapter markers below. Hello everybody, I'm Bryce from Peace in the Valley. It is great to be back with you again. Today I'm doing something a little bit different I haven't done in a while, and that is a tool review. In fact, this is going to be a very biased tool review. I don't do unbiased ones. I don't know if there is such a thing. I am no project farm, but I want to compare some tools. Anyhow, I have just maybe have done the worst possible thing I could have done. I don't know. But I have always been, or in the last six years, I've been a DeWalt person. I have a whole host of DeWalt tools and the DeWalt cordless tools have always come in handy. Even the one here where Angel about cut her finger off, which I showed in the last video. But uh, I've got a lot of tools and this isn't near all of them. This is all that could fit on my table, even the table saw over here. Uh, and that's not to brag about the tools because I, I use them all. Nothing of DeWalt that I have is something that just sits around and gathers dust. This is actually something that I use regularly. So I wanted to make a video of something that may get me in trouble with DeWalt as a shareholder. Oh wait, no. No, I'm an investor in the shareholders, I think. So I recently purchased a Hercules tool for the first time earlier this year or last year and I thought well I'll try it out as a DeWalt person I've got batteries so I always went to the DeWalt tools once you buy the batteries you're invested into the system I got this tool it's a cordless ratchet works well I use it when I'm changing brakes, doing play things. And it's not because I, I needed to do stuff fast or because I'm lazy. Maybe it is because I'm lazy. But sometimes you're in cars and you're in really tight spaces, seven or eight inches down, and there's no room for the ratchet to move back and forth. So this was the answer to that problem. Well, this holiday season, I went to Lowe's and I was going to buy a new circular saw. Now this is, this is my 60 volt circular saw and it's really good, but it's also heavy. And I don't mean like the tool itself is that heavy, it's, it's not that bad, a little bit heavy. But when you pair it with the battery, it makes it really, heavy and trying to hold this up to cut off post or something like that, which I do regularly, is kind of hard because you're trying to hold things up at the same time, follow the line. Lowe's was offering a sale right at Black Friday, right around the end of November. And uh, they had their 20 volt DeWalt saw that if you bought a battery, maybe it was two, I don't quite remember at this time since we're at mid-December. And you could get the tool of your choice. Well, I was gonna pick up the 20 volt model. I go in the store and the sign is right there. And it's, uh, I go around looking for it, can't find it anywhere. I go up to where the sign is next to the cash register and the lady says, oh, that expired four days ago. And I just looked at her, why is it still up? She just shrugged. And that was kind of frustrating. Now, I don't have anger management issues most of the time, but I didn't like that whole thing. So, uh, I thought about it a little bit because I wanted a, a saw where I could put one of my lighter weight batteries on. And then I got an email from Harbor Freight that mentioned buy two batteries and get the saw for free or your tool of choice. They had a whole list of tools. Well, I'm already invested in DeWalt. Why would I change? Except for the fact that their batteries are half the price of DeWalt most of the time. So 
I went down to Harbor Freight and I picked one up. And we're gonna check it out. Here it is. I don't know, maybe it's junk. But my one Harbor Freight cordless tool that I have has been fine, no problems. Batteries have worked out well. But I was always under the impression that Harbor Freight sold tools just to get you by. They weren't professional. They were like your tool shop brand. So we're gonna look at it. We're gonna compare those two saws. And I'm gonna see in this very biased review what I think. I haven't even used it yet. I, I put the battery on the charger. I got two batteries with the kit. The whole thing I think came to $149 with tax. We'll compare. Like I said, I'm pretty biased. DeWalt has always been there for me. Here's both saws side by side. And you can see right here, we have the Hercules and the DeWalt. And they're both similar size. I'll give you those measurements here, not too far down the road. But the first thing I wanna talk about is we're, I'm gonna give this a scoring system. So we're gonna have uh, DeWalt on one side and the Hercules on the other side. And while doing this, what I wanna say is the DeWalt has always been good. I bought this in 2017, here's the amount, and you can still buy this exact same model. It's their top of the line uh, saw. It's quite a bit more expensive. So right here automatically gets a point number one. And the reason is I've had it, uh, this is, we're go just about at 2024. I've had it for six years and it has worked incredibly well. DeWalt automatically gets it. So this is where it's an extremely biased review. Uh, fantastic saw, it's been good. So this is gonna have to work hard to catch up because I am already so invested. Cost, the next we're gonna talk about cost. And DeWalt, the bare tool, when I bought it in 2017 was $149, right here. Bare tool, no battery. So that's the same price as six years later as what I paid for the DeWalt, or excuse me, paid for Hercules with two batteries in 2023. So, two batteries, no batteries, Hercules wins round two. This is the smallest 60 volt battery that I could get. It's a six amp hour, so I have it, versus the five amp hour Hercules. You can see the size difference. One of the things that I don't really ever see mentioned in reviews is the slickness of the batteries. Doesn't take much to slide the DeWalt batteries. I have no DeWalt battery that does not slide easily. So, you wanna slide one to a friend? Hey, not a problem. But, what if you're up top or on top of a roof or anything else? How do they stay? Is there enough friction to keep them up there? Let's check some angles. Because this is one of the things that I have always been frustrated with. Grab a handy dandy uh, used board and we're going to set them on. We're going to see what happens here. Okay. It's not until we get almost to a 45 degree angle that the Hercules starts sliding. Let's try that one more time at the other angle.
Okay, that's where it starts sliding. And of course, it didn't slide all the way. Okay, so about right there. Uh, I'm going to see if I can measure that from the video. But that is a significant advantage to the Hercules. Uh, right now, the score is one to one. We're going to weigh these now. And we're going to start off with weighing the bare tools. First one is going to be the DeWalt. And let's turn the bathroom scale on. It says zero. Go ahead and set the... Oh, crap. We're going to weigh it uh, with me holding it. We're going to see my weight with all of my clothes on because you're not going to see me without my clothes on. And including my water bottle, I weighed all the keys, water bottle, shoes, socks, everything, is 186.3, okay? Jacket, coat, jeans, extra shirt. Yeah, I gotta keep including that weight on to make it look like I really don't weigh as much as I do. Then, we're going to weigh myself with the DeWalt, 194.4. 194.4. They're identical. Both te teams get the same score for that. They both get one. My grandpa recently passed away and uh, I took one of his tools. That's this one right here. Actually, I think I'm, I think Jerison did. But we're going to see what does this weigh. This says 195.9 for the electric, which means this weighs uh, a pound and a half more than the cordless tools. The weight of the tools themselves aren't the problem, it's now the batteries. So what do they come down to? Well, I have a scale here that I hope will actually measure. It will start off with the 60 volt, six amp hour. It weighs two pounds, five and three eighths ounces. So we'll say two pounds, six ounces. Hercules weighs one pound and seven and seven eighths ounces. We'll say one pound and eight ounces. We're talking almost a full pound more. Not quite, but close. But what if you had a bigger one? And this is the one I always use on it anyway because I want it to last longer. What does it weigh? Well, it weighs two pounds, 14 ounces. So almost three pounds additional and when you're trying to hold it with your wrist, it's a lot of weight. You know, that's a lot to put on your wrist. So this one right here, I'm going to say Hercules wins it because of the battery weight. Now you say, well, Bryce, uh, that's only a five amp hour. And this one is a six. This one's a nine. You're right. You're right. But I already have this one. I specifically got it so I could have a lighter weight saw. Our next part of the competition is going to be clarity of marks. And one of my bigger complaints about the DeWalt saw has been the marks. Right here are the marks. Right here are the marks. For people who are colorblind or have any kind of issues with contrast at all, especially if it's slightly darker outside. Sometimes you work in the evening, you come home from work and that's all you have. What do you think of the marks? So that's what we're talking about now. And I'm just gonna show them to you and then you can tell me your opinion. You have on here the DeWalt marks. Even in here, there's marks for your total length all the way across. Over here, we have the Hercules marks. And I think, you can see here's the angle on DeWalt, here's the angle on Hercules. Which one is more clear? For clarity of marks, that goes to Hercules. Uh, I can say it is definitely more clear. How about the blade change? Which is gonna be easiest? Do I have to get my tool box out? Well, for our comparison, you can see that FlexVolt has been used a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and change the blade. Hercules is still brand new and hasn't been used. The DeWalt has 
a tool built into the bottom right here. It has a button that you press that you can lock in the blade. Make sure you always take your battery off when you're changing the blade. I don't know why you wouldn't, but it seems like you need to be warning people. So right here, you push the button down, you loosen it up. Pull that off, the bolt, slide it out. Hold down your button and you tighten it down. Has a nice storage area for the tool. It's two-sided, I guess, for different angles. And you put your wrench right back in the seat that is provided. Real simple, real easy. DeWalt gets a point for that. We have Hercules. And what does it do? Well, it also has either a uh, bolt or you can put an Allen wrench in it. So you can take it off with either or that you want. You have an Allen wrench that is included, works the same way. You have a button on the inside, you press it down, And you pop the blade off. I'm not going to bother. Hercules gets one for that also. I don't really see any difference. If there is a difference that I'm not noticing, let me know in the comments. Both include their tool. Both are built right in. Next, we're going to talk about features. Both of these have safety features on them right here where you press the button. Uh, DeWalt's is a little bit different. You actually have to press in from the side before you can push it. Um, and they both work for right and left-handed users. I, I think the Hercules is a little easier because your thumb presses can just press down where the one for the DeWalt, you actually have to press it to the side. And sometimes you may not have lateral movement left and right on your thumb or maybe just a preference. I don't know. I'm not gonna say one's better than the other though. I think I would prefer the Hercules, but maybe it might go back to again, if you are holding your saw and trying to press, if you're holding at an angle, which one's gonna be easiest to press? Uh, a feature that some people have called for, if you have a nail gun, you have something called a rafter hook. Uh, at least my framing nailer does. How about your saw? Does your saw need a rafter hook? Well, Harbor Freight includes a rafter hook. You just slide it in, slide it out, hang it on. How about DeWalt? DeWalt does not have that feature. So that is one big difference. They both are easy to uh, manipulate like angle. How about on the Harbor Freight? You unlatch. Same thing. So that's going to be equal. Both are easy to uh, move the blade protector. Okay. Both seem to work well there. How about for your depth? On the Hercules, you just loosen that, slide it down. DeWalt has the same thing. Just latch that. Both seem equally well. Good. Light. You see there's a light right there. DeWalt also has a light basically right there. Uh, I would actually give the Hercules a one-up on that one because the light is actually on it angles to your material right where you're between your blade and your guide or where your marks are the dewalt actually shines on the face plate i don't know why it is a little harder to see i don't know if it's a big deal 
One other feature that I think is probably go to the DeWalt, and that is the maximum RPM is 5,000 on the Hercules, and on the DeWalt, it's 5,800. One of the features I want to mention here is that the Hercules has something called a slow start. They call that a feature. So we're going to put both of these batteries on, and what they the claim, I believe, is that when you start up your saw, does it change angles? You can see it tilting like that. So does that mean the Harbor Freight doesn't? Doesn't seem to do it as much. Both of these saws, according to my scale, weigh about the same. Does that mean that the build quality is the same? Specifically, let's, uh, let's look at the DeWalt first. The only thing that is plastic is the housing of the motor. So I guess the, the body is, is made of plastic. But the plate is magnesium or aluminum. The guard is adjustments they're made out of plastic okay let's examine the Hercules what does it feel like the Hercules body is also plastic has a rubber grip DeWalt's is plastic so I don't know if, if a rubber grip pleases you or not um, aluminum or magnesium I don't know same way with the guard same way with the plate. There is one difference right here. And the Hercules has some kind of structural support for the shield around the blade, whereas the DeWalt does not. Accuracy of the cut involves the zero mark to where the blade aligns. How close is it? Well, on my saw, it's almost an eighth of an inch difference. I cannot go by my line versus where I'm actually cutting. Maybe I'm just a bad person who, a sawing person? Sawing person, is that right? Sawer? I don't know. Uh, the accuracy of the zero mark on the Hercules seems a little more accurate. We're gonna show you some of those cuts coming up too. There is one more thing. How about the warranty? We all know that DeWalt tools are, some people would argue that DeWalt tools used to be a lot better than they are today. I told you before that I've only had like one tool go bad. Uh, I have burned up a drill too, uh, overusing it. You buy some of the cheap consumer ones and if you spend the extra 75 or 100 bucks, you're gonna get a lot better product on DeWalt. It's probably true with Hercules, Bauer, and all the Harbor Freight stuff too. The Hercules includes a five-year warranty. The DeWalt includes a three-year warranty. So you might wanna keep that in mind too. How difficult is it to get a DeWalt fixed? How difficult is it to get a Harbor Freight fixed? And I use Harbor Freight there because everybody knows this is the, it's only sold at Harbor Freight. Could I take this back to Harbor Freight at any time in their warranty period? Uh, I actually think I could if I can have the receipt, which Harbor Freight emails you the receipt if you're in their track member club. So I'm going to give that one over to uh, Hercules. For our next test, we are going to cut across this massive stump, uh, this massive log. And we're gonna go uh, probably from right over here, 37 inches, a little over 37, possibly 38, okay? And we're gonna see how that cuts. We're gonna set it to the maximum depth at the same time 
This is a solid uh, piece of maple and this will test whether or not these can actually last through that kind of hardwood after it's no longer green, so it's harder, and that kind of distance at its maximum depth. Will these do it? This is not your eastern white pine. Okay, the DeWalt was able to go all the way through at its maximum depth. Let's go ahead and measure it. And it shows just under, just at two and a half it looks like. Can the Hercules do the same thing? Or will it hang up? We'll try to go about as parallel as we can with it. Here we go. Okay, what was the time difference there? I'm not sure. Let's But it definitely struggled. Let's check our depth again. See how the depth compares. Uh They're virtually identical in depth. I think that's all I have to say about that. Clear winner on this test was DeWalt. It wasn't even a fair comparison. The DeWalt never stopped one time. The Hercules just couldn't cut it. <laughs> Get it? You couldn't cut it? Yeah. Our next test is saw accuracy. And I drew some lines on here <clears throat> to see how well the marks on the plate of the saw align up with the cut that we end up with on our on here. I've got a piece of 22 30 seconds and we are going to line right up with the zero line and we're going to see how that works. center it here on the Hercules. And which one do we have that's accurate? Well, I think it's pretty accurate here is we have the Harbor Freight and here we have the DeWalt. Remember I was telling you how the cut is off? It is, and there's no way I know of to adjust it. You can see we right here how far off it is. Our next cut is how well does it feel just going across? We're gonna go ahead and finish that cut. Keep aligned with that blade. So when we go across the whole thing, you can see we're off the entire length. Let's try the Harbor Freight next. Harbor Freight does seem more balanced. And we split the line right down. So that was good for, good for the Harbor Freight. Its marks are better. Next cut is going to be our 45 degree angle. And then we will check and see if it's actually a 45 degree angle. We have a 45 degree 
uh, setting on both of these saws. We're going to see how the marks align up for it. Okay, so we have the, this will be our DeWalt. That's an X. And we'll measure that one at, and see if it measures 45. One thing that this has on it, the Hercules, it has marks on the inside too, where the blade lines up. See if those work too. Okay, we're gonna mark it H for Hercules. Okay, we're developing a pattern on these two saws. And the pattern is the DeWalt 60 volt, the flex volt has a lot more power. There is no doubt about it. The Hercules cuts just fine. Uh, it does get a little warm on the battery. So I would be interested to see if the eight amp hour or the 12 amp hour actually gives it more power. Tell me in the comments below if that is true. Let's check out our angles now. Right now, I have it exactly, all right, let's turn it this way, at zero. That should be 45 degrees. And the DeWalt comes at about 45.8, so almost 46. This is not scientific because I didn't do multiple tests. I could have easily moved it just a little bit. So we're gonna call that good for DeWalt. Now let's check Harbor Freights out. And do the same thing. We're gonna slide it in until it stops right there. It also says 45.8. So they're both exactly the same. We're gonna call that a tie on that part of the test. Uh, however, the accuracy of the cuts, uh, I lump those into the same thing, still goes to the Hercules because the DeWalt at least on my model, is just not on. We're about ready to wrap this up. We're gonna check one more thing here. Let's look at the brake. Uh, how quickly does it stop? So let's try them both at the same time. I can do them both. Am I talented enough to do them both? Okay. Okay, that was uh, Hercules one by a little bit. Both going? Yeah. The brake works fast on the Hercules. So I'm going through and I'm looking at the scores. And for durability, DeWalt gets my automatic because I've had it for six, six and a half years. Uh, cost goes to the Hercules. Weight goes to the Hercules. And they both tie because they both weight exactly the same. Clarity of marks goes to the Hercules. Accuracy goes to the Hercu Hercules. Features uh, goes to the Hercules because it has the hook. The battery I have going to the Hercules because it doesn't slide. Now, that's probably not a great test when you consider the runtime because the I don't have a way to compare accurate run times. Build quality, both equal, they both get one for that. Cut depth, specification says the DeWalt does uh, slightly deeper. I couldn't measure any difference. Uh, it, was, it was almost identical to me at uh, about two and a half inches. Uh, feel, cut speed and feel. Now, I can't give that to you on a dial but the feel on the DeWalt is just more powerful. You saw the cut speed went much better. The Hercules kept stopping, the DeWalt kept moving. So 100% to the DeWalt. Uh, and this is where the inaccuracy of this test is coming in because I cannot make sure that, uh, I can't give it really an extra point. The wind just goes to it, so I gave it a one even though that might be all that matters. When you're going and you're cutting a lot, you wanna make sure that your saw is gonna keep working the whole time. And if it keeps shutting off because it's getting hot, well, that's not gonna be effective for you. So even though it goes to 
the DeWalt, it might not be enough to actual win the whole score, even though in reality, in real world situations, it would. And that's part of the problem with some of these reviews. So we're going to give that one. Uh, it's still a, a one because it is a better cut. This one was not bad as long as it didn't shut off. It cut through the plywood with no problem. It actually was easier to cut straighter than it was on the DeWalt because of the marks. The marks are accurate. If your marks aren't accurate, you're just kind of putzing around on the DeWalt. But it does not shut off. Uh, next, we have the warranty. The Hercules wins on the warranty. So overall score so far, we have... The Hercules at 11, and we have the DeWalt at 6. So let's try another test here. Numbers-wise, the Hercules winning, but actually what's going on is it's not weighted fair enough, I don't think. Because, yes, I am, I am biased towards the DeWalt. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so we're going to do another test. We're just going to start cutting some wood and see if we run into... Okay, we're not cutting maple, but we'll cut the pine. Are we going to run into any problems? Let's just, let's just start cutting and see what happens. It handled just fine. So let's go back and try this now and we'll do the DeWalt, which I already know it's gonna be fine. My arm's too tired. Okay, let's just talk about them. So here's my final review. Um, the Hercules won on numbers only. In reality, the DeWalt does have a lot more power. After, if, if I had a temp thermometer, which I actually do, I should get it, but you can actually feel a noticeable difference. The DeWalt is not warm at all, not a bit. The Hercules is warm. The battery is. It gets warm pretty quick. And we are down to one on the battery. Where this one is just 
down to two. I don't know how the batteries interpret their numbers to how much power they actually have left. But, and I don't know if that means a whole lot because I did use the Hercules more, put it under test because I already know the DeWalt's working good. Um, but clearly in the video, I can, I can move the DeWalt faster a lot. And that 5,800 versus the 5,000 makes a big difference, I think. Uh, and it could just be a difference between the 60 and the 20 volt battery versus the 60 volt battery. That's what their motors are engineered for on each one. And if I would switch to the eight or the 12, would that make a big difference? I just thought that if I used a five amp here and I use a six amp here, that's the closest I have to each other. So I might follow up with if I get another battery. But today, the Hercules is a good saw. I think. Uh, uh, longevity, I don't know, but I do think it would work well. I don't know if it would be good on a job site or not. Uh, I think it would be. It cut through that pine with no problem. It never stopped once. It was only when we were on the hardwood at uh, on that maple, and I assume it probably had something to do with the temperature of the battery that it was cutting out. Could be. I don't know for sure, but the DeWalt never cut out at all. The Hercules wins on numbers, but the DeWalt works on actual real world for the most part. This has much better numbers. This has more power. Which would you choose? Tell me in the comments below because I'm kind of torn. I, I like that I have both and I'm going to use both. And I probably will get the bigger battery. But uh, if I'm doing hardwood, I'll probably use something else anyway. But do you have both of these saws? What are your thoughts? The Hercules does win, but I'm still biased towards the DeWalt after feeling the power on it. Subscribe, like, and uh, share your comments below. I want to know what you think. Take care. God bless and have a great day. While I clean up the mess I made, there is one thing I want to point out, and that is the box does say that the minimum battery on this is the five amp hour. And that could be it. Maybe if I was comparing the 20 amp DeWalt to the Hercules 20 amp, that'd be more fair comparison also, but uh, it, I am trying it on the minimum battery for this, but I was also trying it on the minimum battery for the DeWalt 2. Was you buy one battery Oops. One of the other things uh, that I'm going to say about this on both of them. No, I'm not because I completely lost it.